So relationships matter, even in business. And the best way to take hold of that is through culture. Take action right away, don't wait. Whether it's with your team, your function, or the business, it's like a big ship. It takes time to move it in the direction you want. I've always had a love for understanding and contributing to all aspects of the business. As a CEO, it's only amplified, so buckle up. So don't underestimate the value of your network. Even if it's been 10 or 15 years since you've reached out to someone, don't be surprised how responsive they are when you reach back out and look for their help. It's important that you tap into this external network to both diversify and challenge your thinking. So don't be deterred if too few have walked down your path. For me, it's not just about being a CEO, a woman executive, or third generation immigrant, or even participating in the STEM industry. So you may not have one or two people that you aspire to be, but what's important is that you take the elements of the people that you do see and you do respect and you stitch those together. One of the first things that I heard from others is it's lonely at the top when you're the CEO. And fortunately for me, it's not because I have an extremely supportive partner.